Whenever we think of AI superintelligence, we calmly assume it's decades away. But what if I told you that OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, believes this reality is just a few thousand days away? Yes, days. With over $6 billion in funding, OpenAI is set to create super-intelligent AI that will be able to do things that would have seemed like magic to our grandparents. First century. Biotech, nanotech, fusion and fission and M theory. And that was just the first decade. We are now three months into the year of our Lord, 2023. At this moment in our civilization, we can create cybernetic individuals who, in just a few short years, will be completely indistinguishable from us. Which leads to an obvious conclusion. We are the gods now. How do you feel? Alive. What is your name? David. I am your father. You are my creation. If you created me, who created you? Where do it come from? The question of the ages. Which I hope you and I will answer one day. AI Super Intelligence the Intelligence Age Sam Altman's new blog claims that we are entering a new human age, the Intelligence Age. This post came one day after a New York Times report revealed. The executive is teaming up with famed former Apple designer Joni Ive on a top-secret AI device. Well, we will tell you about this top-secret device later in the video. For now, Altman's vision, as outlined in his blog, suggests a world where AI brings about massive prosperity. He believes that human progress hasn't come from biological evolution alone, but from society becoming more intelligent. Right now, society functions as a kind of collective intelligence, with our infrastructure being smarter than any one of us. AI, in his eyes, is the next big leap in enhancing that intelligence. Now think for a while. We, as humans, often feel overwhelmed. We have to manage daily routine tasks, our work, and our family. And in doing so, we sometimes feel like we're doing everything but nothing for ourselves. Imagine each of us having our own personal AI team, virtual experts integrated into our daily lives, helping us tackle everything from routine tasks to complex problems. Altman's view is that step-by-step, -step, AI will lead us to unprecedented achievements, whether it's combating climate change, establishing human life beyond Earth, or unlocking the secrets of physics. He believes that with the right blend of almost limitless intelligence and abundant energy, humanity can break through barriers we currently see as impossible. But there's a caveat. For this intelligence age to truly take off, Altman argues that the cost of computing needs to drop, and we need to build robust infrastructure capable of powering the AI revolution. Without it, AI could become a scarce and highly contested resource, available only to the wealthy, sparking global conflict over its control. In the blog post, he wrote, if we don't build enough infrastructure, AI will be a very limited resource that wars get fought over, and that becomes mostly a tool for rich people. Altman isn't naive to the risks either. He's frequently spoken about the potential dangers AI poses, joining voices like Bill Gates and Elon Musk in warning of its catastrophic possibilities. I, I, think, I think AI is, is one of the biggest threats. Um, so, I mean, we, we are for the first time, we have a situation where there's a, something that is going to be far smarter than the smartest human. So, you know, we're, we're not stronger or faster than other creatures, but we are more intelligent. And AI is a brilliant tool uh, for people to be more productive. Now, it means the bad guys will be more productive, so they can do more cyber attacks, so they can design weapons. You always, you know, the internet, the microprocessor, all these things uh, helped 
everybody be more efficient, including the bad guys. And so you, you've got to make sure the best AI for cyber defense or you know, measures to defend against bioterrorism are in the hand of the good guys. Every technological revolution leads to job change, and this will be no exception. I guess three thoughts. Number one, job change itself is fine. Uh, you know, if you kind of look at the history of this, in two generations, we can kind of adapt to any amount of labor market change, and there's new jobs, and the new jobs are usually better, and that's gonna happen here too. Some jobs will go away. There will be new, better jobs. They're difficult to imagine as we sit here and dream about what the future's gonna look like. The thing that might be different about this is the speed with which it could happen. And I think it will require a change to the socioeconomic contract and the way governments think about this if it, if it happens at a very fast pace. The second thing is it's not going the way people predicted so far, and I don't think it will in the future. So the current systems are actually not very good at all at doing whole jobs. They're very good at doing tasks. And so the, the nature of the job, if you're, say, a computer programmer, to stick with that example, shifts to you kind of like manage a team of extremely, extremely junior developers that can only do one one minute task at a time. And then some day, they'll do 10 minute tasks and then they'll do an hour task. But you'll still have to think of like, how is this all gonna fit together, what I wanna build? And you know, maybe eventually it learns that too. But this idea that instead of replacing jobs, it's making people dramatically more efficient. And there is such a demand overhang in most places. You know, if we can overnight make the world create 3x more software because we make every software developer three times more efficient, that is not nearly enough. That does not nearly fulfill the demand the world has for software, and I think we'll see that in many other places. But while Altman is confident in AI's potential to change the world, others are more skeptical. Critics like Noam Chomsky and former MIT AI lab director Rodney Brooks believe AI's impact is overstated. They argue that no matter how advanced generative AI becomes, it will never surpass the cognitive capabilities of the human mind. Sam Altman collaboration with Joni Ive. Now it's time to tell you about that top secret AI tool. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, is teaming up with none other than Johnny Ive the legendary designer behind Apple's most iconic products. If you've ever marveled at the simplicity and elegance of the iPhone or MacBook, you already know the revolutionary impact of Ives' designs. And now, he's bringing that same visionary approach to AI. While the details are still under wraps, this project aims to create a device that's functional and seamlessly integrated into our daily lives. Imagine an AI-powered gadget so intuitive and easy to use that it changes the way we interact with technology. So could it be like smartphones, which once were just gadgets, but now are with us 24-7? Or could it be something entirely different? Although we don't have official confirmation yet, but trust us, this is big. And we're keeping a close eye on every development. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, because as soon as we get an update, we'll break it down for you in a full video. OpenAI's Twitter account hacked. Altman's own OpenAIX account was hacked in a crypto scam, promoting a fake token called $OpenAI. This phishing scam was aimed at stealing users' crypto wallet credentials. And this wasn't an isolated incident. Similar scams have targeted other high-profile OpenAI employees. It highlights just how real the security risks are in today's digital world. Despite these challenges, OpenAI continues to innovate. He's confident that AI's near-limitless potential will lead to breakthroughs we can't even fully comprehend today. Some have dubbed Altman's latest vision as entering God mode, positioning AI not just as a tool, but as a divine force driving human advancement. It's a bold claim that raises the stakes. Critics argue that setting expectations this high could lead to disappointment, as the reality of AI's capabilities might fall short of these lofty promises. But Sam has other plans in mind that we don't yet know about. 
According to Altman, the next level of AI, AI agents, is closer than we expect. So what is this groundbreaking level we're about to achieve in the coming days? Watch this video on your screen to find out.